Dear students, I welcome all of you in the another session of traffic engineering and management. So in the last session, we discussed about the highway capacity part one. Now what we are going to discuss in this session is we are going to discuss about the second part of highway capacity. Let us begin the session. So uh, we were to discuss about the two definition. First is called as time mean speed and second is called as operating speed. Now we have already discussed about what is the meaning of time mean speed in our uh, unit of uh, se uh, second module that is about the basic traffic parameters. So what uh, let us uh, understand this concept very speedily that it is the mean speed of the vehicle observed at the point on the road over a period. It is the arithmetic mean of the spot speed that is called as time mean speed. Now, what is the meaning of operating speed? Operating speed stands for VOS. It is basically the 85th of free flow speed of the standard passenger car. That means small car whose PCU we are considering as one passenger car unit. A vehicle traveling at headway, eight seconds or more is considered to be under operating for vehicle operating speed. Now, let us discuss about the determination of the theoretical capacity for the particular highway. See, an estimation of theoretical capacity, which is also sometimes called as basic capacity of the single lane may be made from the equation that is this. C is equal to 1000 V divided by S, where the V stands for speed in kilometer per hour. S stands for the spacing of vehicle in meters that is called as space headway and the C stands for that is what we are going to calculate that is basic capacity that is in vehicles per hour per lane. Now the value of S is obtained from the actual field observation. This S we will be calculating with the help of field observation and sometimes alternatively it can also be calculated from the safe stopping site distance consideration involving the total reaction time and breaking time that is this vt plus v square by 2gf and there is another equation also this spacing is also equal to the space headway so this is how it can be calculated the minimum space headway in the traffic stream is equal to the minimum space gap plus the average length of the vehicle so this is the equation that this is the particular perception time equation space gap and this is the particular average length of the vehicle. This is the equation that S is equal to 0 0.278 VT plus V square by 254F plus L. Where the L stands for the length of the vehicle or the T stands for the perception time that we are considering the, according to the IRC criteria. Then the V stands for the speed in kmph and F stands for the friction factor. Now, realizing the inadequacy of this approach, the Highway Research Board Committee on Highway Capacity that is under the US government, headed over by the OK Norman, conducted the research in this direction and they have published the particular Highway Capacity Manual in 1950. This was revised in 1965, then later in 1985 and then later in 2000 with the further improvements combination of the experimental and mathematical model of the traffic flow. So what we have understood is we have to understand the particular equation for minimum space headway that is given by S. Now let us discuss the capacity of uninterrupted flow condition as per Indo SCM model. SCM stands for highway capacity manual that defines the ideal condition of uninterrupted flow of the traffic on the road. See these are the criteria. First that the traffic flow free from interference of vehicles and pedestrians from the side. Second is in stream flow of the passenger car. Third is traffic lanes of adequate width and shoulder with no lateral obstruction within 1.8 meter from the edge of the carriageway. Fourth is that horizontal and vertical alignment suitable for the average speed of 100 kmph on multi-lane highway in rural area. So these are the four ideal conditions that are required for uninterrupted flow as far as Indo HCM model is concerned. The uninterrupted flow capacities under the ideal conditions are like this. If highway is of freeway type, then the capacity can be 2400 passengers vehicles per hour per lane with free speed of 120 kmph. 
and if it is 2300 then it would be 110 if multi lane highway is there then the capacity can be 2400 and if two lane highway is there then the capacity is 2800 total both the direction in the both the side <coughs> so these are the uninterrupted flow capacities under the ideal conditions the above are the, are the average maximum values that are being determined on the basis of extensive studies carried out now one of the most important and interesting topic that is called as pcu we are not discussing about puc that is pollution under control this is the highway phenomenon that is called as pcu pcu stands for passenger car unit now we all know that whenever we are driving the vehicle on the surface of highways we tend to experience the mixed traffic condition that is also called as heterogeneous traffic condition now in under under this particular heterogeneous traffic condition different kind of vehicles are being traveling and they are having various kind of characteristics and due to that various kind of static and dynamic characteristics of different classes of vehicles can be experienced <coughs> so what is the meaning of pcu pcu stands for passenger car unit it is the common practice to consider the passenger car as the standard vehicle unit to convert the other vehicle classes and this unit is called as PCU. See, if the addition of one particular vehicle per hour of a certain class affects the traffic flow to the same extent, then the addition of X passenger car will be considered as X into PCU. See, the important factors that can affect the PCU values of any of the vehicles are as follows, such as size of the vehicle may affect, that involve length and width, then uh, speed under the prevailing roadway and traffic, then the clearance for en ensuring this safe traffic condition both in the transverse and longitudinal direction, then certain regulations and control measures of traffic, Number of times the road environment that involve urban, rural and signalized intersection and climatic and weather conditions. So these are the important factors that may affect the PCU value of any kind of vehicles. See, these are the PCU factor for the rural roads. This has been taken from the code IRC 64 1990. And these are the recommended value for PCU factors under various types of vehicle for rural roads. We can see that in the rural area, motorcycle would be considered as 0 0.50 passenger car would be considered as 1 agricultural tractor would be considered as 1.50 this is one 0 0.30 considered as 0 0.30 it is not actually visible then truck will be considered as 3 truck trailer would be considered as 4.5 now if we discuss about slow vehicle then cycle will be have 0 0.50 cycle rickshaw will have 2 hand cart will have 3 horse drawn vehicle will have 4 and bullock cards will have 8. Now for smaller bullock cards, the value of 6 can also be appropriate. So these are the rural road PCU factors that we have discussed. They have been taken from the IRC 64 1990. Now if we discuss about the guidelines for particular urban area also, then it would be like this. Consider it as the urban area. So Single and two line, it would be one. In multi lane passenger, also car will be have one. Bus or truck will have four on single lane, 4.5 on one lane, multi lane. Multi XL truck will have five on single lane, six on the multi lane. Then the LCV that is called as light commercial vehicle, it will have 2.5 on the single lane and 2.8 on the multi lane. Tractor will have three on single lane, three on multi lane. And this is how the values can be followed. So these are the PCU things. Now many researchers have developed various kind of methods to calculate this PCU for various kind of vehicles. The interesting point, interesting point that we should note over here is that each of these studies that the researchers have conducted, different kind of studies, are having different kind of results and are having different kind of PCU for the same type of vehicle. So there exists a large variation in the PCU values being adopted for the different parts of the world. So there is not a fixed value because different kind of researchers have considered various kind of different values for this PCU calculation. 
Now in the present study, the PCUs are calculated as follow. What we are representing over here is that the basic concept used to determine this PCU is that it is directly proportional to the ratio of the clearing speed and inversely proportional to the space occupancy ratio with respect to the standard design vehicle. Let me repeat it once again for you that in the present study, the PCU, how the PCU is calculated. So, it is directly proportional to the ratio of clearing speed in the, that in which we are going to discuss further. The equation that I am going to show within one minute would have direct proportional to the ratio of clearing speed and inversely proportional relation to the space occupancy ratio with respect to the standard design vehicles such as a car. So, the particular equation would be like this. See, this is how the equation would be like this. We have considered one of the studies that is showing the equation for PCU calculation like this. So, let us understand this equation that how does it look? Speed ratio of ith car to the vehicle divided by space ratio of the car to the ith vehicle. See, the numerator is having speed ratio and denominator is having space ratio. PCU i equals to passenger car unit value for ith vehicle. Speed ratio equals to this speed ratio will be VC by VI where the VC means speed of the car in kmph, VI means speed of the ith vehicle. This space ratio would be AC by AI where the AC means static area of a car that is the meter square area of the car that will be projected as rectangular and this will be AI, this see this is AI. AI will be static area of the ith vehicle that is always considered in the meter square unit. So basically it would be VC by VI divided by AC by AI. VC stands for speed of car, VI stands for ith vehicle speed, AC stands for static area of a car, AI stands for static area of the ith vehicle. So this is how it can be calculated. This is only a sample and no examples based on this can be asked. So we will be discussing about the level of service phenomenon in the next session. Thank you.